Hello everyone. Welcome to our presentation and our um, Nguyen Tan Huy. I come from the Viettel Group and I am, I am a Cloud Solution Engineer at Viettel Group. My colleague is Nguyen Duy Hiếu, but uh, for some unexpected reason, he couldn't be here. And now today I will talk about the topic implant of a short program to support the cloud infrastructure needed by a cloud provider community cluster. And my presentation has then uh, the first one year view, Sikhnwani problem, Sinagi solution for implementation and the last one is value. Let's start. As you know, Kubernetes is a complex piece of software. Uh, provisioning and managing Kubernetes cluster is a challenging job. Uh, to installing, configuring a folder component of a Kubernetes cluster, such as Kubernetes uh, scheduler, is a consuming time when you do manually. It means a situation when you have to uh, manage hundreds of uh, Kubernetes cluster, you provisioning in production environment and day to day to operate a uh, cluster can be so terrious. Although there are some tools such as could be QADM, but it can manage full life cycle of the cluster. And here is a uh, cluster API is a QWERTY sub project and started by cluster life, life cycle six. It's a uh, it's, it's really declarative uh, APIs that can can be used to uh, manage the life cycle of, uh, of one or more Kubernetes cluster. As a next, let me see so, a diagram of the component of cluster API. Uh, the way cluster API works is uh, separate into into uh, provider and what the provider do is that it uh, have to make very modular. So that means you can plug in uh, different infrastructure and different bootstrap machine. So we have the core cluster API controller is a core cluster API. It's a uh, manage, uh, it includes the uh, API last cycle, logic, solder, all the life cycle management is uh, upgrade, upgrading, rolling, update a machine, all that. Uh, then we we have the bootstrap with how to join a node, join a node in the Kubernetes cluster. Cluster API come with a built-in bootstrap provider. So, so bootstrap provider based on the QADM for sec. When we have a, then we have the infrastructure provider, we where you have your different infrastructure like environ, environment clouds, anything. For example, cloud, you have a Azure provider and AWS provider, parameter provider, etc. As last, we have controller provider with, with are responsible for managing control plane machine. Managing can means operating control plane machine, make sure the community components as scheduler are ready. As a core API includes the uh, custom resource definition, uh, Custom resource definition is a built-in resource that lets you you can extend, extend the Kubernetes API. So cluster API provider can pro provide and rely on some custom resource definition such as machine, machine sets, machine deployment. So I want to describes the overall architect of the various virtual cloud system before 
get into the meat of the matter. So architect consists of uh, three main modules, uh, cluster management platform called CMP. So Quality provider and open stack. CMP as a management module, community communicating directly directly with the user through UI and receives the request and send it send this send this request to quality provider. And so next, quality provider is a centralized management module that impact the QRT cluster. When, re when receiving a request from the CMP, QRT provider will send this down to the open stack to create QRT cluster. Yeah. And based on the cluster API provider open stack solution, to create a QRT cluster, you need to create numerous other resources such as global server, but the information of uh, the component is stored in the OpenStack. And OpenStack is a private cloud. So the CMP can get the information about the, the resource created below the OpenStack. So, when users send a request to create a QRT cluster, the request will, will be sent to QRT provider and it is to send to the OpenStack. And here is the network model of the, our architect, HVM of of user cluster will be plugged into two VPC. One VPC is a user VPC, and the second is provider VPC. For the request that uh, require go out to the internet, they will go through a writer and go out the internet. And so for the request that uh, require administrative and interaction with the OpenStack, it will go to the provider VPC. And to plus balancer the API server of master node, we use a load balancer uh, attack to a VPC and expose it to the internet through a wrapping IP. So the our architecture is resolved in some problem later. So first, there was a lack of transparency of, the, of uh, our system. When customer has a destructive behavior, it's uh, harmful to the system, such as they delete a resource, apply a file jamo. We we can know and customer can complete, completely blame the supplier. Additional, it uh, will take a long time to determine which, which resort is having a problem. When they an issue with the client infrastructure, which uh, impact the customer ex experience and the customer will not be satisfied. Another consider issue is uh, Likes of uh, information. When a client send a request to to create create a QRT cluster, and the system dies successfully, all the all they receive is a notification that the cluster is has been created successfully. The system can tell which result are being created accordingly. And the customer will be able to update, revise, estimate, develop in a timely manner since they don't have the information about them. And from that, the third problem is the 
calculation of the cost of a uh, using customer is a uh, cannot know what they have paid for. And another issue is a uh, complex uh, network model. The issue affect both uh, customer as well as service provider. And now we we can and I will talk about this, our solution. And instead of uh, using cluster API provider OpenStack, we custom and desire plugin named cluster API provider with help. It's a uh, so plugin can go to the CMP to create a curated cluster. Our CMP can create resource uh, similar to OpenStack. As is uh, our new architect. User send a request to create a QRT cluster to UI. The CMP uh, receives the request and send it down to QRT provider. And then it uh, will go back to CMP to create a related resource to the cluster API provider with help. And the, the information of the resource used to create a, a cluster, such as localizer, server, volume, will be stored in the database of CMP. And it can push to the user to UI. With us, it's uh, possible to show the customer the information of uh, the resource created. And it's, uh, now it's here the new architect model network. It's VM of the user cluster app plugin user VPC and for all the request to export to in, in the internet or connect to CP API it uh, to a writer and we still still use a lot balancer to lot balance the API server of master node. And to custom cluster API provider with help, we follow the cluster infrastructure provider contract of the cluster API. And the machine infrastructure provider contract of the cluster API. We have defined the Vitel cluster, Vitel cluster template, Vitel machine and Vitel machine template. In the API type, we add we have the field spec and status. Spec field is a uh, defined the desert status, and the status field we define the option status. In the API virtual cluster type, we have spec field, control plane endpoint. It's the endpoint for the cluster control control plane and other object. And st at the status field, we have a uh, a uh, required field ready is able to indicate the provider st specific infrastructure has been has been provided. And in the detail machine type, we have spec field provider ID. It uh, identifies the UID of the provider machine instance. And as well as Status field we has require require field ready and other optional field such as fellow reason fellow message and we have the file process here called reconciliation the provider must watch for new update and data result and respond accordingly and so we have a Row based asset control is a uh, okay. And now, in more, in more detail, we define four main custom resource definition is a uh, Vitel cluster, Vitel machine, Vitel cluster template, and Vitel machine templates. At the Vitel cluster, we have defined the component of a uh, Vitel cluster, such as 
the VPC, Sublet, Reason, Club Balancer, uh, Security Group, Listener, API Server Port, Control Plane and Void, and uh, in the GitHub cluster, we have the file GitHub cluster spec and GitHub cluster status. And at the GitHub machine, we have the file component of a GitHub machine, such as server, reason, image, volume size. And uh, the virtual machine templates, it uh, have the cluster API provider which you can integrate, integrate with other cloud provider. So it's the step transition when you create a machine. When machine creates a bootstrap provider was the machine in pending state and machine controller set the data script name from which are config. As the next step is e provisioning the infrastructure, pro infrastructure provider start to uh, create infrastructure for machine. And when machine infra is ready, it's uh, set the status is e ready. As the next uh, status is e provisioned. And when the status of a uh, machine infrastructure ready and uh, the machine controller will set the machine status for provisioned. And now when is uh, the controller of uh, our cluster API provider with help? When cluster API provider with help run, it will run to Concurrent reconcile stream is a cluster and machine. The cluster reconcile stream will uh, create an as well the cluster infrastructure is ready, and the stream of a reconcile machine will wait for the cluster infrastructure is ready. At the reconcile of a cluster will we will create a VPC, create some net, create a robuster and uh, uh, and another other object. It uh, will as well the cluster infrastructure is ready. It will set a uh, infrastructure infra cluster status equal to and cluster status equal to. Then, then the reconcile machine will start the create the object. It uh, creates volume, creates server, and load balance, load balancer member, and another object. When the other object is uh, created, it will set the machine status in far. Structure equal to and the state uh, and state is uh, provisioned. Yeah. So use of uh, the new solution has been brought uh, many benef benefit to our cloud platform. Uh, is uh, can uh, provide sufficient information to user uh, when uh, when user send a request to create a create a cluster and all the all the information of the the relate, relative resource is uh, can push to the the UI so the customer can see all the information. The second is uh, it will solve, solve the pet problem and customer will will know what uh, the next uh, the new solution will as well just transparency for customer system. 
and the last it will increase is the uh, expiration when the when the when they uh, use our cloud. Yes, thanks for your attention. Anyone has a question? Thank you.